Yo guys, what's up? My name is Jack2505. This is The Horde House and today we are going to be discussing the Operation 7 Drop 1 changes to the Slugger. So let's check it out. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So let's get on with the video. So first, let's talk about the Slugger's Heavy Preparations card, which has now been renamed Lethal Preparations. You can now plant six additional grenade traps once you get the card to level six. Now I must admit, I hated this change on paper. However, in practice, this is an amazing change for the Slugger. You can now plant up to six grenades, take advantage of a lot of spawn areas and funnel areas too, as well as flanks. This is a throwback to the soldier from Gears 4, if you guys remember that class. And I know a lot of players have been enjoying the grenade planting. And let's move on now to the modified frag card, which has now benefited from an increased damage from 130% to 200% once you get the card to level 6. The card has now been renamed Grenade Proficiency and has plus 50% explosive radius which is crazy i downed myself a few times throwing frags so make sure you're far away from your own frags because the radius is huge and this is crazy for killing crowds of enemies stopping power shot has been renamed to power shot and the behavior of this card has been changed to ballistic rounds that penetrate unlimited targets and deal plus 60 percent damage and i have to say this is amazing against bosses. I was stopping bosses in their tracks with this ultimate together with a weapon such as a Lancer. This is a must try guys. Save your ultimate for the boss waves and you will see for yourself. The next card we're gonna talk about is Impact Receiver. Now the behavior of this card has been changed from successive shotgun hits recharge ultimate for 8.5 seconds to active shotgun hits within 10 meters stuns drones for three seconds when you get the card to level six now i'm not sure how i feel about this card now 10 meters is quite close especially on master and it's not like the slugger gets health or steam to support those hits um now you guys let me know how you deal with this card on master and let me know in the comments below um personally i don't think it works so great if it's just on drones let's move on now to perks now the slugger's perks are now feedback boost damage perk damage resistance perk and grenade resupply perk now the grenade resupply perk is incredible remember that you need to keep at least one grenade in your pocket because if you use all of them the nades will not regenerate and the feedback boost is great for basically just getting your ultimate back as quickly as possible. Fantastic perks here for the slugger that can help this class so much with dishing out so much damage and a variety of damage. And a decreased cooldown of heavy hitter from 300 seconds to 200 seconds. Now, I think the slugger has been improved so much and there's going to be a lot of players who are already enjoying this class and the changes. Now the slugger is fantastic with crowd control, damage, dealing with bosses, spawn control. Now level up those cards guys, now you have the coins for it. Now please let me know your thoughts and experiences with the slugger so far in Operation 7. Please let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. Thank you very much guys for making it to the end of the video. My name is Jack2505, this is The Horde House and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.